In the last section, we sped through some implementation to get a map up onto our screen. The map is full screen by default because we added the flex style of one to the map view element. In this section, we're going to talk a lot more about what the map view is and what we can use it for. So the map view itself, again, it delegates to the underlying operating system, and that means that it does it has the capability of doing a lot of the things that we'd expect a map inside on our mobile device to do. So not only can we scroll around as we saw and zoom as we saw, but we also have the ability to do stuff like say drop a pin on the screen or get the location um, of some you know, particular spot on the screen. We're going to focus to start on one of the more basic aspects of our application. I want to have the ability to get the longitude and latitude at the very center of my map. So let's say if I try to center it just about on Livermore. I want to be able to get the longitude and latitude at the exact center of the map because that's going to form the basis of the weather request that we put together in a later section, right? We need to know exactly wh what location we want the weather for. So to get the longitude and latitude off of our map, all we have to do is add a callback to the map view component here. I'm going to reformat our tag here just a little bit. All right, and then we're going to add a property on here called on region change complete. And whenever uh, this event occurs, we want it to run the callback this dot on region change complete. We're just going to name it the same thing. So we'll stub that function out. All right. So on region change complete is a property that we pass to map view. The function that we pass will be executed whenever the user starts dragging and then stops. So that would be a trigger right there, and that would be a trigger right there. So whenever the user stops interacting with the map, this function right here, on, change, on region change complete, is going to run. And the real nice thing about this callback is that it gets called with a single argument called a region. Let's go ahead and console log the region out so we can you know, see, see what kind of information we get out of the map. I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to open the Chrome debugger. And pop open the console. And I'm going to just drag the map around a little bit. And sure enough, we get our console log pop popping up here. In the console. So you'll notice that we actually got two console logs of the same object in here. So when I said that the console log only ran when you stop dragging, well, kind of a technicality, it also runs the instant the map is rendered. So the very first time the map is rendered and when we stop dragging, this callback runs. So we are getting the console log in here successfully. Let's take a look at the properties inside this object in the next section.